Well, Dr. O'Brien, I'm excited to be here with you and talking about surgery today. I'm happy to be talking to you too. I actually thought we'd make this a little personal because you are my colorectal surgeon and you've done several surgeries on me. And you know, in 20 years as a patient, surgery has changed. And so what I went through 20 years ago is different than what I would go through today. So can you walk me through like how has surgery changed over even two decades? Absolutely. So I started practice back in 1998. And so everything we did was open surgery, especially colon surgery. And they had just started doing minimally invasive gallbladder surgery back then, but nobody was doing colons back then. And you know, with the traditional open surgery, you have a big incision and your recovery is obviously a lot harder because you have this big incision to recover from. Um, and then we started doing all those surgeries laparoscopically. Well, minimally invasive surgery, but you're doing it with these tools that are kind of like chopsticks. Then finally kind of transitioned into robotic surgery, which is awesome. So is, is minimally invasive surgery the same thing as robotic surgery? So I think a minimally invasive surgery more like as the big umbrella, just anything that it doesn't avoid a big incision. And so in that, you know, that umbrella of minimally invasive surgery, um, I would say the first thing that you know I had experience was was hand assisted laparoscopic surgery. So the ability to put a single hand in while keeping the belly still filled with carbon dioxide and still using the little laparoscopic tools to do the surgery. And then the next step was laparoscopic surgery still under that umbrella of minimally invasive surgery. Again, we kind of liken it to chopsticks because you're using these very straight instruments that are not like your hands to do the surgery. And then still under that umbrella of minimally invasive would be robotic surgery. And so I think of, I explain robotic surgery to patients as it's a tool that allows you more precision. It's still skinny little instruments like you would see with laparoscopic surgery, except the ends of the instruments are wristed. So they work like your hands in there. So you can have fine control. You can see things in 3D vision because the camera has depth of vision and um, you just have much more control. And so you can do things that you wouldn't be able to do laparoscopically. So can you kind of explain the difference of recovery time and, and scars? like? What is the difference between the two? Sure. Um, so on average, typically our robotic surgery patients are in the hospital on average probably one to three days after surgery. So I t for all the colon surgeries we do, I try to make the incision to pull out the piece of colon because obviously the colon is bigger than a gallbladder. You have to have a little bit of an incision to pull it out. I try to tuck it in kind of like in a bikini area so that you're, the lower, it, lower down it is, the less sore you are. And then so in addition to that larger incision, there's several, usually three or four little tiny quarter inch incisions for the robotic tools. So because of that, they're not as sore. Now everybody who has these robotic surgeries, in our protocol, they also get a bunch of other things to help their recovery. So we don't go straight to narcotics anymore. We do a lot of things up front before they even go to general anesthesia. So they get scheduled Tylenol. They may get some non-narcotic um, pain relievers in addition to the Tylenol. They also get a nerve block in their belly. So with that, during surgery, they don't need narcotics. Um, and then post-surgery, they don't need as much narcotic. And so their bowels wake up a lot faster. So I have a question about multiple surgeries. Sure. And you know, even in my case, I was one of those patients who'd mm -hmm. had I'd had the open, right. so we did more of a robotic, minimally invasive, yeah. but then I had complications, so we had to do open. Do passion, yeah. How common is that where you have to go back in, or do most of your patients just need one robotic surgery and they're on their way? Well, that's a good question, but for most people, it's one surgery, you know, depending on their disease process, right? Um, if it's a, you know, like let's say you had a right colon cancer, that's usually a very straightforward surgery and it's usually about two hours and most people are home in a day or two. Obviously, if they develop another cancer, you know, in the remaining colon, then they might need another one, but you don't form as many adhesions when we do it minimally invasive. There's no question. Having operated on people who've had it the old fashioned way and then operating on people who've had a minimally invasive procedure, they don't form as much scar tissue. Um, which so is nice. even like small bowel obstructions and less things. Less common, for wow. sure. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Is this a higher cost, a lower cost, or will patients even really recognize a cost difference in a robotic surgery versus a traditional one? Like, what did 
What have you seen? Well, so I don't think patients are going to recognize the cost difference, but for, I think, insurers, they probably recognize there is a cost difference, probably because there's a shorter length of stay. You know, the traditional open surgery, patients are going to be in the hospital longer. I mean, on average, five to seven days as opposed to one to three days. Mm -hmm. And then return of work and just lots of things in terms of medications, kind of bouncing back, all of that. Well, thank you for doing this interview. Yeah, absolutely. I, I was so excited it was going to be you. So that's <laughs> perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I feel fortunate to have you. I mean, here is my surgeon and hopefully other patients will yeah. find their way to you or find another surgeon like you. Yeah. I'm happy to take care of you. Awesome. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs>